Hi, Bagaholics! Welcome to the Bagaholic TV YouTube channel where we discuss luxury bags. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested and let's start! Let's talk Pochet Medis and Emprunt. If you've been following me on social networks, you know that I purchased this um, in Lisbon about half a year ago. And uh, now I just wanted to share my impressions after six months of use and probably it will be useful to anyone who considers buying Pochet Medis, uh, whether in Emprunt, in uh, Monogram or is there any other material there? Epi, yeah, or in Epi. Uh, I haven't seen one in Epi though, uh, so I will be um, mostly discussing a pochette medis and Emprunt. So let's start! First of all, it's one of my favorite bags. I'm using this bag about two or three times a week. Um, so that's for me, that's a lot. Um, and I what I wanted to share with you is the signs of wear the bag gets after a six month of use. So let's take a look. I haven't even removed the plastic stickers. I don't know why. I know it looks a little bit strange, maybe. But um, I, I want to keep hardware as new as it can be because it, it gets a lot of scratches, especially with this type of lock. And uh, you can see that uh, it actually looks brand new. And if I remove the plastic sticker, it will be very, very close to perfect. Um, I know there's a company who does plastic stickers, so if you are not happy with the uh, Louis Vuitton stickers, then you might get, I, I think they're called Handbag Heaven, but uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but you, you can uh, search for their Instagram. Um, and if you want to keep your hardware nice and clean and without any scratches um, and bright, bright gold too, uh, then you might want to get something uh, from them because they have plastic stickers for all the types of lock. Now let's move on to the leather, the most important part. And uh, as you might see, there are no scratches. The leather is still nice and firm. Uh, the embossing was deeper on the back of the bag and uh, it's still deep, it's still nice. On the front, it's not that deep. I didn't really care for it. It's a beautiful bag, I love it as it is. And I do know that with time, the embossing will get, and I do know with time, the embossing will not be as deep as on a new item because, well, basically it's leather. Uh, same thing happens with our skin, like it's not getting firmer, right? With age and uh, the, on the bag, it will not get firmer either. So if you're looking for a very, very deep embossing and, and it's critical for you to keep that embossing, the only way to do that is use the bag only for special occasions, maybe. One of my favorite parts about that pochette medis is the glazing. Because those who have a lot of Louis Vuitton bags, at least one time you had a problem with glazing, right? Share your stories in comments, because I, I've seen a lot of Louis Vuitton bags, and uh, especially around the year 2000 and, uh, 2012, uh, 2013, they released a lot of bags and the glazing was so bad uh, for unprunked bags, right? And uh, I replaced a lot of glazings on speedy bandoliers, on uh, bagatelle, on many, many kinds uh, of unprunked bags. Well, with this one, uh, I purchased this last year and I hope they the trend is for every unpronged item. So take a look, the glazing hasn't changed at all. It's still like new, it's still beautiful, both on the bag and on the strap, which is very, very important. Now, the only signs of wear I have found on this bag is um, from hardware, actually, but because you know the hardware gets uh, this grayish color. The only signs of wear I have found across the bag is on the hardware and uh, on the leather uh, very close to the hardware, next to the hardware. So as you know, Louis Vuitton hardware gets a little 
uh, this black uh, or gray tone after you use it for a while. And uh, here's what I'm talking about. You can also spot this part where a leather, this leather spot is a little bit grayish and it's from hardware. These small imperfections are very, very easy to remove and let's do that online. So I take my bag and we'll also use micellar water. And you can use any brand, I'm, I'm using Garnier, but actually it doesn't matter. Any micellar water that you are using for your skin will do good. Um, so we are using a cotton pad and a little bit of micellar water, not much. And we're just cleaning this spot with micellar water. And then we're cleaning the hardware too. If you do want that, if you want your hardware to be nice and clean, and if you want to remove this grayish, I don't know what is that, chemical reaction, uh, probably. And uh, as you might see, the hardware is still bright and gold, uh, though I used it this bag a lot. And as you might see, the hardware is still bright gold, though I used this bag for a while. All right, nice. Now let's take a look at the result we got. First of all, the cotton pad, you will notice it's a little dirty, right? And let's take a look at the hardware. Now you see the grayish part is gone and the hardware is still very, very nice. One minute of cleaning and you get a brand new bag. This baby is very, very nice. I love her. And uh, what I especially love about this bag, another thing I love is the corners because it never gets any problem with corners. Because as you know, with every other bag, you do have scuffs, you do have scratches or well, the corners look rubbed. And that's not something that happens with a pochette mattis because as you might see, the corners still look fantastic. I love them and they do look nice. Now, I also have another video on my YouTube channel uh, regarding which version of pochette mattis to choose, whether it would be a monogram or a, uh, an emprunt pochette mattis. Um, I'll leave you a link some, somewhere, somewhere here. So if you are choosing between a monogram and uh, emprunt, I highly recommend you to watch the video and uh, learn what version is best for you. My favorite is my all-time favorite is this color, this scarlet color and uh, umprunk leather because I already told you why. If you're looking for advice which material to get, I mean whether you get a um, monogram pochette mattis or an, an umprunk pochette mattis, watch a video review I did like a year ago. Um, it clearly shows all the differences between materials, all the difference in terms of wear that you might get with uh, one bag and another bag. So I'll leave you a link somewhere here. Uh, watch this video and I hope you'll make the right choice. Well, obviously my favorite, my all time favorite is this pochette mattis in Amprunt. This color is called Scarlet um and uh it's it's beautiful all right i hope it was useful uh subscribe to the channel like the video and leave a comment below on whether on what what do you think about pochette medis in general what do you think about impound pochette medis if you already have it and uh if you're kind of unsure which material to get um, leave your questions below and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you for watching have a great day. Bye.